Good. Talk about the fight. Did it play out the way you thought it would? Uh, it did play out the way I thought it would. Um, you know, I was just going to hurt him on the feet, take him down and submit him like I said I was. Uh, he reversed it and got on top, which is fine because I don't mind being on my back. But um, I didn't expect to triangle him. I don't really – I, I kind of gotten away from those. Um, but I went for it and it was there. And, you know, I've been doing jiu-jitsu a long time. So it felt good to get a submission win again in the first round again because that's just what I like to do. Altitude play? I mean, it, it wasn't a long fight, so it didn't really – um, I, I got out here early. I came out two weeks early. I was training at 303 Training Center with uh, JJ from The Ultimate Fighter and Pat Barry and uh, Tony and uh, Mike Gonzalez, who was a huge help. He did mitts with me every day. Um, and it was great. Yeah, I came out. And I, the first couple of days, I felt terrible. I was like, man, I just did a full camp, and I feel like a loser right now. Like, I just couldn't breathe. But they got me ready. They kept me busy, and they really they opened their gym to me. And, you know, Denver's been just a great time. Was that important for your confidence as far as like not gassing out after a few minutes? Um, you know, I was, I was, some definitely was in the back of my mind, and you know, I've never fought at altitude before. I fought all my fights at CES in the same place, and then I fought in Brazil and South Dakota, so I've never really experienced it. So, you know, I was asking everybody like, "Oh, how long do you come out? Like, what do you do?" You know, so I, I heard two weeks is perfect. I came out. You know, if you're in shape, it only took a couple days, and I felt fine, and I was doing five fives every day and sparring, and felt great. So. Could you feel the difference in the cage when you're out there? I didn't feel the difference at all. You know, like I said, I was calm. Um, I hurt him with the right hand, and then I took him down and triangled him. So uh, even if I felt it, I don't think I would remember because it, it was a pretty quick fight. Kind of an interesting call out at the end of the fight. I hate that guy, man. Dan Kelly, I want to just, oh, my God. Every time I turn the TV on, this guy is on the TV, and it's just the ugliest crap. And then he gets the win, and it's like he's 5-1 and one in the UFC, and, and then he started talking shit to me on Twitter, and it's like, Dan, come on, man. You're not a killer. You're not, like, you're not out here icing guys in the first round. Like, if Tiago Santos, want, Tiago Santos wanted to talk shit to me, that's fine. That guy knocks everybody out. He can talk shit. But Dan Kelly's winning these crazy decisions, blood all over his face. You know, I don't know, man. He just makes me so mad. But uh, How did it end up becoming personal between you two? Did you start... I just don't like him, man, and I don't know why. And, you know, well, first of all, I'm the best non-ripped 85-er on the planet. Um, and he's trying to come from my title. And, uh, like I said, I'm not the best 85-er on the planet. I'm the best non-ripped 85-er. So, you know, Dan Cormier, he knows what I'm talking about. Shogun knows what I'm talking about. Uh, abs don't win fights, you know what I mean? And I, he's trying to take my, uh, my cred, and I don't like that. So we got to fight for him. That's an awesome call. <laughs> Good. So, um, actually, uh, off-fight um, topics. Um, I noticed on your Twitter last Saturday you um, participated in the women's march. Yes, I How did. How was that? Uh, I didn't participate. Oh, different... I wasn't. Uh, I missed it. It was in my hometown, and uh, it just made me very proud. Oh. Um, I try to get involved with a lot of stuff like that, and uh, there's a lot of terrible things going on <laughs> in the country right now. So, um, you definitely gotta, I think, stand up and and fight for what you believe in. So. And why did you do that? Because, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I think you're the only at least male UFC fighter to actually um, at least acknowledge it. Um, did you, did you, was this a conscious effort that you wanted to put out there? I mean, I have a, a lot of friends that are women. I have a lot of friends that are, um, you know, LGBTQ and, and trans. And, um, you know, I have a girlfriend and uh, I care about them very much. And just because it doesn't affect me, it definitely affects many people that I love. So... Um, I definitely would fight for that regardless. Thank you. Cool, guys. Thank you so much.